Hello everyone, this is CY once again. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I think earlier on, if you have been following my channel, I, I did repair a customer's um, Nook Mini. Um, it is sort of the infamous Nook Mini in the past, but uh, this Nook Mini is the newer version, which has uh, totally um, been revamped and uh, it's now very safe to use. And this belongs to one of my customers, right? Um, he has uh, he has been using this Nook Mini for some time, and uh, recently he discovered that um, the water is not coming out from the saturated group head uh, as as much as uh, previously, and also the uh, steam pressure, uh, sorry, not the steam pressure, the brew pressure meter is not showing any uh, deflection. So uh, uh, we have uh, repaired and serviced the uh, the Nook Mini for them, and uh, right now we're gonna make a coffee. Uh, with this Nook Mini and show you how the Nook Mini actually looks like if you are not familiar with this machine that is made in China right so without further ado right let me introduce this Nook Mini to you right currently the Nook Mini is um, um, the side panel and top panels are all open so I'm, I'm going to show you how the electronics inside is right so currently I'm actually at my uh, showroom workshop plus my office and this is the Nook Mini right and my customer has sent in their M10 roaster for upgrading. So this thing is going to be upgraded with a new, brand new uh, uh, motherboard, uh, which already do away with the uh, touchscreen panel. So everything now is going through Bluetooth via Artisan. So this thing will be fully upgraded later on. Uh, as you can see, I've got a lot of projects here going on. This is actually the customer for, that purchased the Lily Elizabeth from me. Uh, I have opened this machine up. All right, the heating element seems to be a bit uh, problematic. So I'm just going to repair this machine later on. So this is actually from the Exova, right? So um, he actually gifted this machine to me. So I'm just going to probably service it, maybe clean it up. And uh, let's see what I'm going to do with this. And of course, this is actually the quick meal from my customer, Stefan, right? Um, it is working, right? Just that the, uh, the water sort of... Uh, um, I have, we actually removed the spring bar from the uh, shower screen and now the shower screen uh, is not detecting uh, pressure so when the water comes out uh, it doesn't exert enough pressure to the pipe and uh, therefore the pipe becomes soggy and the extraction is not there so these are some of the projects I, that's waiting for me to be done but right now let's focus on the Nook Mini so let me bring you to see what's the inside uh, maybe I give you some background on the Nook Mini, right? This Nook Mini is actually a saturated group head, which means that there's actually a separate heater inside here to heat up the group uh, to maintain the temperature. And of course, this Nook Mini is a, P, a dual boiler uh, PID machine. Let me show you, right? This is the Nook Mini uh, espresso machine, uh, double dual boiler, and it is it is able to connect to the, uh, uh, to the uh, I think to, to your handphone. Uh, through an app or not uh, or Bluetooth, I'm not too sure because I don't own this machine. Uh, I'm just doing a servicing and repair for my customers. So this is the water tank. All right, the fuel is on top, um, and of course that's where the water inlet is, water outlet to feed to the group head. And at the side, you can see here this is actually the water reservoir, and the water will be pumped here and then through here, and then go into. And of course, this is where the dual boiler is. Right, there's a dual boiler here, one and two, right? And inside this is actually the um, rotary pump. So the rot rotary pump is very big, and hence therefore it is uh, much more expensive as compared to the uh, vibratory pump, right? Maybe I'll show you the vibratory pump also, since uh, we have opened up my uh, Exova officer. So let me show you. Right, I have already removed the side panel that actually uh, support the water tank. Uh, maybe I'll on the flashlight to let you see better. Okay, maybe not. Okay, can you see that is actually the vibratory pump there? This is actually the vibratory pump. Uh, it's pretty small in size as compared to something there, right? That is actually... Right, this thing here is actually the rotary pump, right? It occupies almost at the back, entire back of the uh, compartment. Uh, on the Nook Mini, so as you can see, right, the difference between the heat exchanger which uses a vibratory pump versus a double boiler which uses a rotary pump. So of course, using the rotary pump means that the coffee machines will be very silent 
when you engage the pump so let you uh, maybe I'll just engage the pump and hear the sound so there's a gentle humming at the back and now you can see the pressure is uh, going back to about nine slightly more than nine bar right that's the water flow right so so now I think let's make a cup of coffee from this machine and see how it goes right so I'll be using um, the new bottomless bottle filter which uh, now our shop carries so this is a standard 50mm bottle filter with a very nice wood handle this is the lighter color right, so this is the wood and uh, our bottle filter will usually come with a basket extra basket so we there will not be an extra charge for the baskets so as you can see it's actually pretty nice right very solid wood and of course I'm going to use my DF64 currently uh, as my main driver for the grinder right let me power on the uh, grinder first all right so yep it's on so I'm going to use a uh, Colombian beans today I'm not too sure whether I have enough let's do a mix right so let me get my um, my scale so right now I have uh, two scale here one is Felicita and the other one is actually the Kaya so I'm still testing the uh, Felicita to see how you match up with the Akaya uh, both are really good um, weighing scale but one is uh, almost uh, double the price of the other right so I think I may not have enough let me see whether I have enough for 18 grams right it's for only 9.9 .9 grams so I'm going to mix the Colombian with my red wine series and see how the coffee taste goes there's just some remaining balance behind oops huh okay 17 gram even with two bags is still not, not enough okay then it means uh, we have no choice uh, and to open up a new bag of coffee beans so I think we'll just do that Right, let me go and get another bag. Okay, this bag of coffee bean is roasted on the 18th of January, which is, uh, I think today is the 25th. So it's about seven days ago, perfect time for espresso. So uh, we have uh, actually, um, okay, it's okay, let me just open this. Let me see. Uh, okay, I have no leftover beans there, so let's just open this bag. Ooh, smells amazing right so let's just top it up to about 18 grams right 18.2 okay so let's grind yesterday I tested the Nook Mini at this current grind setting it's choking the uh, brew head so let me increase it to about 16 so um, this is uh, 18.2 so let's see how many grams are we getting out from the DS64 Right, so let's see how many grams are we getting out. 18.3, so that means there's a slight, maybe oh, 18.2, so it's almost perfect actually. So uh, 18 point gra oh, 18.2 grams in, we're getting 18.2 uh, grams out, which is pretty good. Right, so um, I think I will just uh, transfer over to my um, bottomless bottle filter. Let me bring you to the other side to see how I prepared my um, coffee pump. Sorry, my, my, my coffee here. So normally I'll just do a slight um, WDT. And normally I'll just knock it down and then I will 
level distribute and then I'm going to use my cookie press to tamp it down and that's it so this is pretty much well uh, prepared and uh, I'm just going to use my part screen right so let's go towards the note mini and make a cup of coffee right so let's lock up the polyfilter. filter right okay let me get my short glass and my weighing scale right I hope it doesn't create a mess as this is uh, the first shot after uh, probably the second shot after we have tested the machine yesterday uh, we were until about 1 p uh, a.m. yesterday actually so let's try to pull the shots Mm, there's uh, quite a bit of channeling actually right um just a virgin shot after the first servicing so it's running quite fast so probably i've uh, adjusted the grind size to be um too coarse right I, i'm maybe a bit too ambitious and over adjusted the grind setting so right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull a second shot and then maybe um, down the grind size to be slightly smaller and then we're, we're going to do a second shot but I will spare you the, I'll spare you the preparation part and ju I'm just going to jump in straight to the second shot after I prepare the, uh, the coffee ground but before we do that I want, just want to show you the, uh, how, how the co coffee part is so maybe I will take you remove the camera sorry it's a bit shaky so let me bring it over to the other side right so this is actually my station right you can see that the part screen drop out and the part is actually very dry right and once you knock it gently the whole part just come out and your polyfilter basket filter basket is actually pretty clean so this is a good sign Right, so let's check the underneath of the uh, shower screen to see whether how uh, how is the condition. Right, so um, there's a bit of coffee ground probably from the previous extraction. So I should I probably should have cleaned this before I uh, do the second shot, so that uh, I can show you. So let me just clean off. Right, so now okay, now you can see that it's sort of cleaner and uh, we're going to pull a second shot and then we're going to use the part screen and then you will see uh, whether uh, it is still as clean as before okay so this is our second shot and we're going to try again okay let me get another set of shot glass okay i hope this is not too small but let's just give it a try Okay, uh, it's spraying a little bit, so uh, probably I still have to uh, prepare my uh, my part better, right? But the shot, even though it runs fast and there's a bit of channeling, um, I'm still gonna taste the shot, and let's see how it goes. All right, so let's taste the shot. Of course, this shot has been made uh, previously, and uh, this is actually a combination of the Colombian and the Win Nan Red Wine Series beans. Uh, they have roasted. Uh, the roast date for this patch is probably earlier as compared to this one. This one is roasted on the 18. This is ro probably roasted at least two to three weeks back. So let's try this first. It's still pretty hot. Well, it's probably it's actually quite a good good shot. 
Oh, so I can consider mixing the Colombian with the Yunnan beans, right? Um, I can taste the 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 nuttiness. Wow, this is really enjoyable. Um, the very low acidity, uh, very sweet. It has got the body of the Colombian, so it has a stronger body. And yet, uh, it is sweet, so it's actually pretty interesting. So let's try the uh, the shot that I've just extracted. This is actually purely our uh, Yunnan you know, Red Wine Series coffee beans. Uh, and later on, I'm just going to make a latte uh, using uh, the shot here. Um, yeah. So cheers. Let's try this. Smells good. Ah, <laughs> this is really interesting. Because what I've tasted in the previous cup, the sweetness is exactly the same. Just that it doesn't have the body. So it is swinging towards the slightly acidic side. And uh, the sweetness level as... Uh, let me see. The sweetness and the acidity side is uh, just definitely a brighter shot. Uh, but it's not the acidity kind of brighter shot. It's just sweet mixed with a slight acidity. Right, and whereas the previous one with uh, where I mixed with the Colombian, um, basically it's half Colombian, half Yunnan beans, and the shot is uh, sort of uh, give you a, a a fuller body, and then it is sweet but it is not acid, so uh, it's pretty interesting mixing two different coffee beans together and try to pull espresso shot out of it. So you can see um, the nook. This is actually how the nook mini is. So let me just show you the outlook. Right, the panel has not been installed back yet. Um, the panel is actually at the side, so uh, later on I will install the panel backs and uh, run a few more tests, make a few more cup of coffee right before I return the uh, espresso machine back to the customer. Yeah, so I uh, hope you have enjoyed today's video and uh, thank you for joining me. Right, this is CY once again. Um, if you are first time joining my channel, right, my channel is all about having fun making coffee. And today we had fun making coffee from Mook Mini, which is actually a um, espresso machine dual boiler with dual PID. Uh, the PID can actually be adjusted. You can see there's no adjustment here, uh, which means everything can be adjusted by your smartphone through an app. So um, it is a pretty smart uh, machine and uh, it is very well uh, well made now. Right, The finishing is pretty good on the front. Right, The bottom drip tray is a slightly a sharp like my Molesto. It is still a bit sharper. So um, so maybe they can probably improve on the finishing on the drip tray but on the whole um, i can see the side um yeah um it, it it is it is a nice machine but um in t and, and okay probably i should steam the milk and let you see as well right so before i end the video today i'm just going to end the video with me steaming milk and making a cup of latte and i will not make any more commentary after that so uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do remember to hit the subscribe button and then like my videos and I'll see you in the next video very soon. Uh, please stay safe right? uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Right, so I think the steam pressure is now up. So I'll let you see uh, it's a four tip steam hole. And uh, it's a very, uh, it, it looks uh, basically the design look like a Slayer uh, kind of copy um, design. As you can see, uh, Slayer usually come with this uh, sort of a swing lever kind of design. And then the... Okay, I should have used a cloth because the steam is actually very powerful. So I can see how powerful the steam is. Right, so uh, I think the steaming of milk will probably be done in a matter of seconds. But let's uh, try it. Um, sorry, I, I, sorry I, men I mentioned in the previous part that I'm not going to do any commentary, but I just can't help it. So let me show you the steaming. It's done. So let me clean the tip and then do a put. Put some more time. Right.
right so um, I'm just going to empty um, the shots from the previous one right I know uh, this is probably quite a lot of caffeine but I'm just going to dump all the shots inside right so let's try to uh, see whether you can make some of an art uh, let me see whether the milk form let you see the milk form which is pretty nice all right so let's see how it goes okay let me adjust the camera hope that you can see better Right, probably too thick I'm not too sure but. okay uh, not really a nice latte but I mean um, uh, my first uh, uh, steaming attempt on the new mini right so right on the whole um, it is uh, quite a nice machine to use as a fuel boiler uh, pretty fast pretty powerful and uh, just want to finish up this uh, cup of latte and thank you for joining me today. Remember to stay safe and see you very soon. Enjoy and cheers. Mm. Yeah, it's nice. Ah, it's good. Before I forget, this is actually the uh, shower screen uh, with a park screen properly installed and you can see um, the condition. It is actually very clean. This is before I wipe it, so it's actually pretty clean. Alright, so I think a park screen really help uh, to distribute water and you also keep your parks, uh, if you also keep the shower screen pretty clean. Alright, so signing off and see you very soon.